cute garden. Don't ask how I got a thousand pounds of manure on my carpet, okay? Because <laughs> I'll tell you, a horse butt, I'm assuming, is what it smells like. Hmm. Well, actually, I could only find 998 pounds I had to pitch in. <laughs> but I buried it, okay? Cover that up. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Ow. I got just about every flower you need. I have a poke anus. I have big boy beluga peppers. That's a tree. We have ceiling danglers. We got a couple white slipperies. This suspiciously looks like a different type of smoking plant. Dandy tigers. We got uh, purple. I'm with you so far. Oh, we're putting the lid back on? Reminds me of when I had to Let's go ahead and put these gloves back in the bathroom. Yeah, these are also my bathroom gloves. I just poop in the garden. I look like Deadpool. Shoot off some CO2 into a pillowcase. That way, wherever you roll over, it's gonna be a cold side of the pillow. I mean, you make dry ice out of it. <laughs> are you yanking my flower stems? Does that really work? I have a fire extinguisher in here somewhere. I buried it. You can never be too poorly planned. I like to put extra steps in between me and safety, kind of like pooping directly onto your carpet. Yeah, here it is. Oh, nope. Can I shoot it in here? And then what do you do? You just... My bad. That's on you. Literally. Sorry. It just sounds like dry. Ow! I have a cut and it burns. Hold on, you got a little safety dust in your eye. Go ahead and blink. Is it just me or is it attractive in here? Hot. A very good look. I'm very hot. I guess heat rises. And so does smell. It is a balmy 70 something. My inner thighs can tell temperature pretty good. What's that boy? 76. Square root of 69 is an eight something. Lay me down in a bed of assorted flowers from Home Depot. <laughs> I don't think y'all got a good look at what I'm working with, okay? The flowers. Check these out. These peppers are in the dirt. Oh, what we? That's enough to blow you away later on the toilet. <sighs> oh, goodness. I can't get enough of these peppers. <coughs> Switch them around the taste buds. You gotta really get a good sense of what you're working with here. I've made these. The power of LaCroix compels you. Yeah. Oh. Hey, y'all need some fertilizer? Because I know how to get you some in about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. They're so good. They're flavorful. Everything about them is so perfect. I just, oh my god, they're hot. Yeah. Do the pain go away? The pain stay. The pain to go away. The pain stay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Oh, I need a wiener in my mouth. Oh my god, this doesn't help. It really is burning the crap out of me, okay? Later, I know. Uh-huh. Oh, I feel better. Already? Uh. Ugh. Little hand here. Oh. Would have been a real good time for the dry ice to work. Peter Piper may have picked a pack of pickled peppers, uh, but Brandon bought a bunch of basic bedroom bushes, so. About to open up my own manure factory. I'm gonna call it the Thriller and Manure. <laughs> so you're telling me a nine volt battery and steel wool makes fire. I can think of another combination that also makes fire. Pepper plant, bad decision. Steel wool, hasn't changed a bit, steel wool. You telling me this is gonna burn the steel wool? How about this? What's this gonna do? Ever start, ever start a fire? <laughs> is this thing on? Yeah, I think I could start a fire better with some chapstick and a tomato than this. What? Ah. What if I put you two together? Told you. I'll unsubscribe for you. You wanna buy to that? Bad day. Well, your video's not performing well either. Hit water, not people. I'd actually like to hit someone. <laughs> hey, if your knees don't look like this, then you got normal knees. Good for you. Where's my girl? You've never seen the movie, have you? I'd go ahead and kiss that kid goodbye and kiss a garden hello because you're gonna be very lonely. Where is your kid? Now I'm interested in the story. Holy crap, your kid is Pennywise. Okay, you, you still would suggest a garden. <sighs> you can let your stress out on the garden. Hit your garden, not people. Or children. <clears throat> just tie a red balloon around your kid. Your kid's gonna get tied up in a ceiling fan. <laughs> I don't wanna just come out with the inevitable, but I would keep a lookout. Maybe don't double knot that balloon. You kinda wanna get away plan, if you know what I mean. I have to go pee. Aiden, go entertain the people, okay? I trust you. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, my mom put this on me. I don't know why. I also don't know where my mother is. How could she be so careless? 
What in the Dr. Pimple Popper season two is it? Oh boy. Yeah, I gave it a gender. That thing's huge. My girlfriend does like popping my pimples, so if I can put enough of these on my body, <laughs> you might not hear from me for a while. <laughs> Bubble wrap, fake blood. Does it have to be fake? <laughs> now I'm just saying, my knees are just getting a little banged up and I'd rather re recycle, reuse, reduce, if you know what I mean. Y'all mowing? Three in the afternoon. We're gonna have a good night. Come in. Ah! Does it look real? Because it's fake. I can't tell if I hurt myself or, or if it's all fake. I don't, I'm assuming I'll faint if it... What do? What do you put in the glue? All right. This is my girlfriend's makeup brush. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, is it leaking or am I? And a little bit of foundation. Just my shade. My girlfriend. Hey babe, look what I got just for you. Mmm, do you like that? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Any other color I think would be fine. Put your wieners in your thermos, as you do, and go to the beach. The wiener looks like it's seen a ghost. You look like a ghost. <laughs> I can't be mad at it. Wieners in a thermos? That's a great idea. I'm sorry, this honestly has never happened to me before. These are too big. Okay. Do something a little more my size. Where's the wiener juice? Come here, come here, boy. Do you just spoon feed yourself your sixth toe? Truly disgusting. You don't need a spoon for that. God, my knees are taking it up the I'm in a lot of pain right now. Boy, I hope this works, because this guy's been bugging me all day. Oh, he's attached to my neck beard. He's staying with me. Yeah, don't talk to strangers. I actually don't know you that well, so don't talk to me either. You dirty dog. Okay. Oh, disco ball butt cheeks over here. Quit that, says the guy. Keeps pausing on it and zooming in. What's the button? Command B. Well, that ain't that. I'm trying to print. Well, I mean, if I can. What do you have? Holy 007 inches. What? Did you have a hot glue gun in your girdle? Yeah. And that bendy string stuff. Boy, your husband's gonna be super surprised when he tries to pull that out with his teeth. Hope you don't have sensitive gums. Is this so I don't poop in the garden? Because that's kind of what I'm going for here. She peed in her dress, correct? I mean, if you say so. It's time we part ways. I don't see a problem here. Okay. Lucky for me, I have a hot glue gun in my girdle. And lucky for you, my girdle is somewhere over here. Are we ready? Nah. <laughs> Dry. Well me. Hot glued them to the table. Ah, look at that. Moment of truth. It's a no bones day. Math is hard. The answer was nine, I think. Oh. No. Hit water, not people. Sorry. Math is hard, but you know what isn't hard? You know what isn't hard? Counting to six on this hand. Also, not throwing all your garbage in the ocean. Stop doing that, weirdo. Yeah, I'm teaming up with Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, and Team Seas to help remove 30 million pounds of trash out of the seas and oceans and other areas of bodies of water that have names that I know of that I'll, okay. You heard me right, 30 million. <laughs> ah, okay. Our goal is to help raise $30 million and each dollar will help take one pound of trash out of the ocean, which is pretty cool. Would you like to know how many pieces of trash 30 million pounds of trash is? That's like 30 million pounds of trash in the sea's ocean lakes and water fronts. That's a lot of trash. <laughs> Let's be honest, there's trash everywhere. Okay, yes, I'm talking about my room. And no, I will not be throwing it in the oceans. Whether or not you're throwing your empty ramen packets into the ocean, it's happening, okay? At a staggering rate. Here's a graph. <laughs> you can help donate by going to teamseas.org. It'd be super awesome if you can only give a dollar, two dollars, or this money. It's going towards a good cause, but 100% of the money you donate will be going to clean up trash out of these ocean waters. Okay, you can also do your part by eating your trash instead of throwing it away. They didn't tell me to say that. I just thought I'd add it in there. It sounds a bit choking hazardish. Don't, don't eat your trash. Don't feed your trash to the oceans. Sweat is dripping down my lower back. They didn't tell me to say that either. This campaign ends on January 1st of 2022, so we have a little bit of time. I'll be periodically putting the links in here and whatnot, doing live streams for it. Adding more fingers as we go. Never have I ever thrown dirty trash into the seawaters. 
I took it right out for free. I will be donating my own money from when I sell all this manure on eBay. Go to teamseas.org if you want to help donate. If you don't want to help donate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Love you. Y'all know of a good knee ointment?